All right guys, I'm really excited about today. We are going to be looking at shoulder rolls and some other elements of being higher up on those shoulders to protect the neck and to successfully move through some moves that can go wrong, but when you do, when you understand them, will complement your jiu-jitsu game incredibly. It's not just a bonus, it's necessary. We need to get you warmed up first though. Starting in plank position, I'm gonna start our timer here. Starting in plank position, on your elbows, create a teepee, and the ball of your feet. Focus on pulling the hips to ribs as much as you can. So not having an arch in the lower back, it's gonna be really hard in the lower back. Pulling your hips to ribs, tilting the pelvis forward as tight as you can. Couple deep breaths here. Inhaling as you exhale, pull the hips to ribs just a tiny bit more. On your back. Same thing with the hips. Instead of being on the ground with an arch in the back, on the ground, pulling the hips to ribs, which puts your lower back, helps put the lower back on the ground. Opposite elbow to opposite knee for bicycles, extending the leg. Rotating the upper body to face each wall. Incorporating your breathing. Now bicycles, if you don't do them right, can be really easy. If you don't push the lower back to the ground, they're really easy to fire them off. Well, of course you can, you're using all hip flexors. So by tilting the pelvis forward, pulling those hip strips as much as you can, check, put your hand under your back, make sure that there's no space, then do the bicycles. Now we're talking. Nice. Push-ups. Wide grip push-ups. Make your fingers as wide as possible. Feet as wide as the shoulders. Create your plank. Now move the plank. Pulling myself down to the ground. Slow. Up. Quick. Pulling myself down slow. Inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up. We're using gravity to help in the strength of our push-up, pulling ourselves down as slow as possible. And up. Nice, on your back. Bridge, feet on the ground. Hips as high as you can. Maybe walk the shoulders underneath you. And breathe. Consider this a little bit of a break. But you should feel this in the glutes and the hamstrings. Inhale, exhale, belly button up as far as you can every time. Find your breathing. After this, we go to plank, the whole set one more time. Three, two, one, nice. Adding a little bit more. This time on plank on your hands, if you need to create fists because your wrists get sore, go on your fist. Make sure you have a strong fist with your thumb out. Plank, outside of the knee to the outside of the elbow. Other side. Every time both feet are on the ground, resetting your plank strong. The secret is having the ability to lift one leg and to put it 
on the outside of the elbow without allowing the hips to shift left or right. Three, two, one. Nice. On your back, bicycle. This time we'll bring the pace up a bit, so check your hips. Boom, hips to ribs, no space under the lower back. And now we start to bring the pace up, only extending the leg as far as you can keep your lower back on the ground. And breathe. starts to burn, you feel like you need a little break, this is your break. Knees up, lower back on the ground. This is your break. If you don't need a break, rock and roll. Ten seconds. Nice. Push-ups. Wide grip again. Make your fingers as wide as possible for your base under your shoulders. Feet out. Here we go. Pulling yourself down slow. And up. We're, gonna, we're using gravity to create just a little bit of extra strength. Pulling down slow. Exploding up. Pulling down slow. Exploding up. Shoulders get a nice little break after this and bridge. 15 seconds, a couple more strong ones. You need to go to your knees, that's okay. I just want to see the same rhythm. Pulling down slow, going up strong. One more. Nice. On your back. Give the shoulders a break, hips up. Now, adding to the hips up, reaching one arm over the shoulder and looking to where you're going. Because when we look, it puts our spine in line. But the other thing is it gets the head out of the way just a little bit more. Or sometimes the head will be shifted to the right. If I want to roll, my head's in the way. So by looking, moves my head out of the way. Every time in the center, reset, hips up as high as you can. Not a massive reach over each shoulder. The big focus is the hips. Just adding a small introduction here into what we will be working on next. Okay, one minute, rock and roll, up and down. Hands behind the knees, just tuck the spine. Let's just rinse that out for a minute here. Hands should be grabbing the hamstrings so that the back doesn't have to work that hard. Relaxing the spine. And rolling. Good. Now, landing, just like, I call it upside down guard, almost inverted guard. So wherever you're comfortable, just bring those legs over, the knees beside your head. For me, I'm pretty comfortable here. I can move all the way over. But I just want you to go as far as is comfortable. Something to think about here is while we're doing this strange stretch is the spine is in line. And with back or shoulder rolls, if the spine's in line, it's not going to work. I'm in my own way. I can't go over a shoulder. So watching, we will start with backward shoulder rolls, the movement. I'm going to move over my right side, looking to where I want to go. 
Same thing, rock and roll up and just go over that shoulder. So you notice how there is no pressure on the spine, okay? The problem I see is when people try to do a shoulder roll and look, and they keep the spine in line, but now my head is in the way, and that's where uh, people go straight back. Now I'm compressing myself where I shouldn't be, and then they fall to the side, and it ends up to be something like that. For this next minute, look where you want to go, my right side. Use the hands if you need to, slowly pull yourself up and just go on the shoulder. Really focus on that shoulder. And reverse back. Okay, again, yeah, take your time between each repetition. Knees up, looking over the shoulder. So my head's out of the way, just up to the shoulder. And back. So there should be next to none stress on that spine. If there is stress, you need to move the head to the other side even more. So we're on my right shoulder. You need to move the head to the left even more and look over. The reason why this is important is when someone moves, one reason, there's lots of reasons, but if someone works to pass my guard and I get stacked, I have the ability to re-guard by going over a shoulder here boom, and coming back. Other side now, I'm going to go over my left side. So I look over my left shoulder, which will naturally bring my head to my right shoulder. Legs come up and over that left side. Really, really slow. The backward shoulder rolls are also important for when you get taken down and move into a big break fall. Boom, sometimes no bench is too much. You go over the shoulder or maybe you want to keep going. To sitting up, you take them back. Okay, keep going. Head to the right, looking over the left, slowly coming up. The shoulder rolls forwards and back are a staple. You have to, you have to know them. Back to the right side. Looking over my right shoulder, looking where I want to go. Feet come up to the sky. Right knee, feet touches the ground. Over. Nice. Don't come up too much. Just reverse all of that. There we go. There should be no pressure on that spine. Looking where I want to go. Feet come up and just to that right side. Nice. And back. So my goal in this tutorial here is just to make sure you're not going straight over your spine. Shift, look, and over. All right, other side. It's interesting how one side will feel different than the other side, but we need to be doing both, starting slow. For me, it's my luck now. Looking up over the left shoulder, head out of the way, left knee touches the ground, and we roll up. And reverse. Feet up, over, and reverse. So as slow as you need to go, as slow as you need to go, as slow as is comfortable. And this is a new movement, right? It's creating new, new pathways in the brain. So if it feels pretty weird, that's okay. It's because it is weird right now. The brain hasn't had time to organize the information, to learn it, to connect it to the body yet. So that's why we're doing it all on our own, really nice and slow. Nice, forward shoulder roll. Similar concepts apply. Starting our knees, that's really all you need. Posting, one hand on the ground, so for me, it's my right hand. I've heard two variations with the left. You can put the left between the legs, reach for the wall behind, or you can put the left hand to the outside of the opposite knee. Both are right. I want you to try both. Left shoulder hits the ground. Now, I'm gonna still move my head to the right. 
The goal is to be moving diagonally across the back, okay? So what we don't want is a somersault. We don't want a somersault of going straight across the back. So you see how the spine's aligned? This is gonna be hard on the spine if you don't know what you're doing or if you don't know that you're, or, or if you're seven. If you're seven years old, you're fine, but I'm assuming we're all older than that. So we wanna get the head out of the way. We should be right in the head. One minute here, right hand posts. My left hand, I'm gonna bring it to the outside of my right knee because I find that helps with the diagonal movement of rolling from the left shoulder to the right hip. Okay, here's my bridge. My arm's gonna go under my bridge and my head. Up we go, nice. Right hand on the ground. Left hand beside the leg. Try one with the inside of the leg, see if you like it. Bring my head underneath and over. Again, there should be no pressure on the spine. One and two. All right, other side now. Left hand on the ground. My right hand, I'm gonna bring it to the outside of my left knee. And this is my bridge, the space between, underneath my armpit is the bridge that I'm gonna bring my head under. Rolling everything through. Really slow, really slow. So left hand on the ground. Right hand goes underneath the bridge and the shoulder follows. No need to bring the pace up. We're just focusing on feeling the movement of what it's like to do it slow, controlled, focusing on dropping on the shoulder and getting this, the head out of the way. Top the spine out of the way. Back to our first side. It's always interesting to feel what side feels better. First side. I don't even know which one it was. There we go, right hand on the ground. And left arm goes under the bridge and everything else follows. If you're feeling good, bring up the pace or if you need a couple more slow ones, good. Do a couple more slow ones. I think it's actually absolutely incredible what the body can do. I read a, a quote, it's always been one of my favorites, that it's, it's a shame that people die not knowing what their body is capable of. So these movement drills, I find incredibly fascinating. And a lot of them, these movements are learned through years and years and years and years of jiu-jitsu, and the body naturally adapts through training, Sometimes through injury, okay, other side now. But through working on these drills at home, you can learn how to do them safely, learn the purpose of them and what they're supposed to feel like. Right now, with my left hand out, reach my right arm through, I'm focusing on feeling my shoulder on the ground more than my head. Shoulder on the ground, diagonal. Eventually, you'll move to your feet working on these, but we're not going to talk about that yet. I just get so excited. One more minute of these bad boys. Nice. Next one, we are going to put it all together. We'll start on our back here. We'll change it up. Okay. Looking over my right shoulder. Hips come up and over. Oh, all the way up. Nice. Right, left hand post, right shoulder goes through. 
Here's our drill. Rolling back over the shoulder. If you have no pain here in the neck, you are doing a really good job. Sometimes it takes a while to be able to go diagonally over the spine as we do the shoulder roll from the knees and eventually the feet, and that's okay. It's okay if it takes a while to go diagonally over from the left shoulder, right shoulder dropping on the left hip. Let's try the other side. Feet come up over the shoulder. My right hand is planting now. My left shoulder goes under the bridge, followed by my head, and I'm going to land on my right hip. Falling back over the left shoulder. Right hand plants, left shoulder goes under the bridge. Landing on my right hip. Over the left shoulder, on the knees. Right hand plants, left shoulder under the bridge. Now find your rhythm. One more each side. Left hand plants. Right arm goes under the bridge. Landing on the left hip. And back we go. Over the right shoulder. Left hand plants. Right arm goes under the bridge. Land on the left hip. On our back. Over the right shoulder. Left hand plants under the bridge. Landing on the left hip. Find your rhythm. Other side. Right hand plants, left, left shoulder under the bridge. I might lift my right knee a little bit. That's okay. Head over. Actually, let's start here on our back, over the left shoulder. Boom, there we are. Nice. Find your rhythm. I feel like I should be answering questions right now, but you guys will just have to message me because I can't hear you. Kind of nice. It's so peaceful. I can do my drills here in silence. I'm just kidding. I want your questions and your feedback. They are so valuable. They're invaluable. Can't even put a price on them. Okay, next drill. This is where it gets fun, team. We're going to add a little bonus. Left hand down on all fours. Left hand down. Right hand goes under the bridge. Landing my left foot on the ground. Right foot planted. We're in our technical get up. On the knees. This one's just for fun. Left hand down. Right hand under the bridge. Left hip down, right foot up, create my shield, technical get up. You know you're doing it right if you can land in that technical get up. Left hand down, right hand under the bridge, shin down on the side of my left leg, right foot down, technical get up. Other side. Right hand down, left arm through, right shin, well the side of the leg lands, left foot on the ground, technical get. Right hand down, left arm through, side of my leg on the ground, left foot down, 
flexible get up. Right hand down, left arm through, roll, chin down, technical get up. Totally going off screen, I'll have to fix that next time. Okay, so because the focus is shoulder rolls, we're gonna go one more minute, shoulder rolling forward and back for our last two minutes here. Rolling over the right shoulder. Sometimes you can have fun and go all the way down to being flat on your belly. And then lifting and coming all the way back. Do the previous variation if that's enough for you. Or have fun with this one. All the way down to the belly. Also a little bit of core work. This is where the real ninja magic happens. People weren't um, born natural ninjas. This is where that magic happens. Last one. All right, we'll meet on our back here. Let's try the other side. Looking over my left shoulder. Belly down, hips up, and reverse. So by now you should be um, used to moving over that shoulder instead of moving over your head. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this isn't something that's beneficial. This is something that's crucial to learning, learning the movement of rolling over the shoulders to protect that head. Incredibly important. All right, last one. Awesome, all right. Okay, amazing work everybody. I'm really excited to have been able to share that with you and we'll see you on the mats, mat. We'll see you on the mats for the next class.